Okay, so I hit a deer with the truck right after I got it. This is the new grill and everything on it. But to do the bumper, we're gonna start by taking the grill out so that we can get back there to the bolts that hold the bumper on the frame. Okay, now that we got the grill all off of there, we're gonna go ahead and remove the bumper. Um, I'm not gonna go step by step on how to remove the bumper because I'm going to assume that if you are going to take all of that and weld it up and install it on your truck that you don't need help removing that. Okay, now because of how it hit the deer there, I'm gonna end up taking off this piece right here. I probably don't have to, but the way it's installed on the back of the bumper there and the way everything's bent up right there, I can't get to the screws that are holding it down. So that's gonna come off next as I try to just make it a little more accessible down under there. Okay, so I put the grill back on the truck and we have both brackets installed. We used all three bolts in each side and I've got them kind of at an angle where they need to be. Um, the way they're positioned right now, they do not sit level with the frame. I mean, when you look there, you can see they're slanted down. Now, at first I thought that might not be right, so I tried to use only two bolts in there so that all the holes or so even though the holes didn't line up I could get it level with the top of the frame but come to find out that is not the way we need it to sit so it does not contact the bottom of the grill okay so here's what the plan is right now we're going to try to um, set the bumper on the jack stands that'll hold it up at the right height and then we'll center it um, on those brackets once it's centered on the brackets then we'll tack weld the brackets using the angles um, on the base. They seem to line up pretty good with where it needs to be. So once we get it tacked up there, we'll check the square and everything. But the only thing I'm questioning and possibly doing is just taking a small washer and putting a washer between there for while we mock it up because that'll make sure that if it bends a little bit, um, while we're welding it, if it sucks it in a little bit or something, we won't have problems getting it back on the truck. It'll give us that extra, I don't know, eighth of an inch to play with. So we'll see. Okay, so what I've done now is just taken a measurement on the inside of the uh, brackets on the truck and I marked it out with some soapstone on the center section so when I'm underneath there, I can kind of have a reference point of where it needs to be to tack them up. Okay, so now we put the centerpiece in, tacked it onto the mounts. Um, we used the jack stands to get it up and kind of keep the same gap there. Probably hard to see with the sun off to the side there, but. The gap is about the same on both sides and we can fine tune it now that it's on there, um, just it up and down if need be, but we centered it using the soapstone lines and got us where we needed to be and tacked it up. Okay, after getting the brackets with a little more weld on them, I pulled it off and set it on some jack stands here where I'm just going to weld it up outside the truck. but. Um, next, we're going to tack on the corner pieces. Okay, so yesterday we got the sides welded up on there. Um, it was getting dark out. We test fitted onto the front of the truck, and it seems to line up good and everything. So now the, the inside there is all kind of welded up. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try welding the seams on the front here. And all I'm using is this little 135 amp welder and it seems to be penetrating good enough for holding it tight. So we'll keep going, see what we have happen here. And I'm gonna try to get the patch plates welded into this area next. So we'll see. Okay, now we're gonna put these patch panels 
on to each side here. Um, we already test fit the bumper, so we know the bumper fits on the truck. And where those are going to go, right there, I don't think we're going to have any fitment issues. So even though I set it in here with one hand, it doesn't fit perfect there. I think we're going to tack it down on the seam there and just give her a couple taps down with the hammer and I think we'll be good. Okay, so after I tacked it in and I pounded it down, you can see the top of the flap goes underneath that side there, at least with this bracket. And I think that'll be all right. Um, once I fill it in with weld here, you'll never notice it. And I think the line should look pretty good. Okay, here's the driver's side patch panel. Now when I put the driver's side end piece on right here, I noticed that it wasn't bent exactly perfect. I mean, it was close, but it definitely wasn't bent as nice as the passenger side was. So because of that, I think is why you see the extra gaps there, because at this angle right here is the one that seemed to be off. And I think if that would have been back just a hair, we'd be doing better. But this is mocked up to the truck to fit underneath the headlights and everything, how it needs to go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pound this flat so when you look at it there, that will be straight across and level. And then once we get that down, we're going to have to fill in the gaps up top there and everything with a weld. Okay, we took the bumper down, we welded the little patch plates in. Um, now we've got it back up and we're going to put the final corner sections on there. Um, if you've got Silverado like this I'm sure most all the other ones Ford Dodge are probably gonna be the same but I'm gonna have to cut that inner fender on there uh, when I hit the deer on the other side here that inner fender is already ripped so um, I've got a new one to go in it I'm gonna have to modify that to fit just perfect anyways so we'll go from here and see how we can get these next pieces and I held them up and they look like they're going to be pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack over or tape over the lights and cover them up so they don't get any splatter on them. But then we'll just tack weld those end sections on and see how they fit. Okay, we've got our brand new headlights taped off so that they don't get any weld splatter on them while I tack these in. But I think what we're going to do now with these end sections is just try to visually um, line them up so they look level. Um, in the end, if it's off a little bit down in this section, you aren't going to see it once it's welded up and ground down and painted. I mean, you'll never know. So I'm going to hold it up there, get it leveled for what looks good and tack it up. Okay, there's the passenger side. Uh, welded on from the outside um, welded it all the way up right up until before the light there I didn't want to get too close to heat up any of that plastic on the light it's gonna come down I'm gonna finish welding it on the ground obviously I have to bring it down to paint the inside and get the brackets welded in for the lights as well um, I mean I'm not the greatest welder in the world so I don't need everybody critiquing my welds. I mean, I know they suck. So with that being said, I'm over here, I'm gonna finish masking off this light. Um, and then we're gonna mock it up. I'm gonna have to trim back some of the uh, inner fender at this point, I think, to be able to mock it up successfully without having too much trouble. But I think we should have it pretty much mocked up for tonight and then Hopefully tomorrow after work, when I'm done doing everything else, we'll pull it off of the truck and finish up uh, welding in the light brackets and all of that. Well guys, it's getting a little dark out. I gotta quit for tonight, but there she is. Um, we got all the side pieces mocked up on the truck enough to drive around with them right now. They're square. All we did is um, basically go with eye um, and how it looks because there's no way that by spending hours and hours and hours of time um, 
trying to square it up some perfect way that you're ever going to be able to tell. I mean, the way it sits right now is as perfect as she's ever going to look. Okay, now I've got the bumper on the truck today. Um, I had to put it on there, drive around a couple places, and I don't have anybody here to help me pull it off right now. So what I'm going to do is see if I can weld in the pieces for the LED lights, um, just the patch plates on the bottom there. I've got them set there. We've got the lights laying on the ground so that we can see exactly um, where we want to mount these and how we want to mount them. And um, I'm going to just get them set in there, kind of look at things and be back in a minute. Okay, so now we're going to start by welding the big long piece into the hole for the 20 inch light bar. Now, I don't have anybody to hold the camera for me. I'm literally doing this all by myself. That's why you don't have anything of me working. I had my buddy here once to help me put the bumper on and off, and so far, he's busy tonight. So, anyways, we're gonna take this. I'm gonna set it in there, tack it into place, hit it with a square, make sure that we are um, square between there and where the bumper will be. And once that's done, we'll run a bead all the way across on it. Okay, we set it in there, got it tacked in in two places, and now throw the level up there, or the square up there, and see that we have that plate in there um, square with the rest of it. And so now I'm gonna throw another weld down on this end and work my way across and get that uh, held into place nice and solid Okay, now we've got the uh, Large piece welded in there and So once we take the bumper back off I'll align the light in there and show you guys how to square that all up and weld that in now on these pieces here or on these holes here, we've got these kind of um, angle cut um, almost half triangle shaped pieces now, that's going to have to go in there, and um, they show you on your directions how to put it in there. But I was looking at it here, and I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is take these and weld this piece up first, because this piece is going to go in the side there and kind of close it off. But I think by welding them up first, um, like that we will be able to get the correct angle for this piece once it's in there because of the angle that, it, that we're working with here it's not you can't just put a square on there and square it up so like I said I'm gonna think I'm gonna weld these two there and after I get a couple of these tacked up and see how they fit I will show you what's going on Okay, so what I did here is I took a magnet and we squared these off. I tacked them in a couple spots to double check and make sure and they seem to be perfect. Now, what it looks like and what I'm seeing is that this um, plate here actually comes past the corner of this bottom one by just a hair. But I think it all has to do with the angle you have going this way and keeping it straight there. So. Um, I'm gonna throw another tack on this one and move on to the next one kind of make them all up um, Just double checking to make sure this one is the same Okay, now we got um, That plate tacked up inside of one of the light holes here. You can see that um, we lined it up so that this is you know centered right there and then we put it on top of the plate and didn't butt it up with that that gives us right to the corner there now when you look at it um, it's giving you enough clearance try and do this one-handed so I apologize but gives you enough clearance to get your light right inside there and so after we get this all welded in, um, we will show you how to mount the mounting brackets inside there. But it's starting to get dark out, um, 
been busy with the kids tonight, haven't had anybody here to help me. So I'm gonna try to get this as far as I can. So um, I'm gonna shut this off for now, get some welding done, and if not any more tonight, I will be back tomorrow. Okay, now what I've done is I've measured in an inch and a half from the corner here, and that's gonna be about where our um, brace is. And you can kind of see the spots where the metal got heated up a little bit when it was welded on. So you should be able to get a pretty good idea um, without too much trouble figuring out where that is. Now, um, like I said, we're gonna bevel the edges here. We're just gonna take our grinder, knock it down, and then these here, I think you're gonna mount right about like that. Okay, we have the edges all beveled and they're ready to get welded on. Um, now what I'm thinking here, and it, probably common sense to most people if you're doing this stuff but I mean like I said the reason for beveling it is you want the strongest mount possible but when we put it up here you're gonna want to put it with the long piece down at least on the silver auto bumper here because that is going to run right along with the mount going to the frame so you're getting all your strength right there um, down this bottom runner. If you were to put it up like this, you've only got that short little area that's going to be pulling on that mount and the top of it there is going to be able to pull down. There's nothing there. Now, you probably do fine, but for a heavy duty application, if you really want the strength there, you're going to want to mount it like that. Now, um, I'm going to go measure this and what we're going to do is this line is the same all the way down there we're an inch and a half over here um, I'm gonna put the chalk line just inside the bevel um, I'm gonna make another mark right down in this area and we're gonna get that set up there and just make sure it's square right down that line just measuring from the seam in an inch and a half and after we do that we'll do the same over there
Okay guys, as you can see, the audio on the GoPro doesn't work too well, but there it is. All the brackets are installed for the lights. Um, I've got it already primered and painted and back on the truck. I wanted to get videos of it. I don't have the light bars installed yet, but I'm going to go mount them in there in a little bit and then we'll have the video of that. But hopefully you guys understood what I was doing for installing the little brackets there. It's really not that hard. I mean, I did this pretty much entirely by myself with no help. And, you know, with minimum tools, there's no reason you guys can't do it too. All you need is a little bit of experience welding, running basic power tools, and a little bit of common sense, and I think you guys will get it. Thanks for watching the video, and if you get a chance, check out our website, precisionballistic.com. We make custom Kydex gun holsters and specialize in helping churches set up security teams. Thank you.